I like to think that I'm a tough person and things don't really scare me. But whenever you're on a breaking news scene, you don't know what's gonna happen. Safety is the number one goal. But I think it takes a special type of person to be in this industry. You have to be tough. I'm Action News Jack's Christy Turner, and this is a day in the life of a reporter. So usually in the morning, I wake up about in, around 6.45, and I just start searching for story ideas, whether that's through jail logs, on social media, through emails. I get a lot of tips from the community, which is very helpful for us. Christy, let's, let's go ahead and let you get started. Okay, um, okay so we have a from the morning meeting, we usually leave with the stories that we know we're going to be on, and each day the reporters are assigned two stories. And so from there, you kind of have to plan out your day, time management, knowing which story to go to first because you're driving across town trying to track down people and get those interviews. That's it, that's the car. Okay, great. Thank you so This much. first story that we're on is a man who was arrested. He's accused of impersonating an officer and trying to pull a woman over on a main interstate here in Jacksonville. Definitely looks like a cop car. All right, you guys be careful too. Can you get the bars in the back car? There's, there's bars if you can see them. You never know what you're going to run into when you go up to someone's house. You never know who's going to be answering the door, so it can sometimes be a little nerve-wracking. Most of the time, they just slam the door in my face. Give it one more knock, giving them a chance. This is Christy Turner with Action News Jax. I'm looking to speak with Mr. Mills. Looks like they don't want to talk. Well, he didn't answer. We saw someone peek out the window, so I know someone's in there. Um, I also have the suspect's phone number, so I'll give him a call. Do you mind unlocking yeah. so I can go get the number and then I'll come back out here in front of the house and call him? Okay. And see if he'll come out. There's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking to speak with Mr. Mills. Do you know who he is? As journalists, it's our job to get both sides of the story, so that's our goal. So you don't think that he'd be the type of person to do that? He has too much to lose to do something as silly as trying to impersonate a police officer. All right, thank you. You too, thank you, Edwin. Thank you, appreciate it. Good, so we were able to get someone who knows him. Um, I'd like to speak with him himself. Um, so I do have his number. I'm going to give him a call. That guy claims that he's not here right now. Hi, this is Christy Turner with Action News. Jax, may I please speak with Mr. Mills? I tried. Gave him a call. I know someone answered the first time because it picked up and I could hear someone breathing, but they didn't like respond to me. Mr. Mills, are you there? Um, so I called back again, second time, and it went to voicemail. Fortunately, mailbox is full, so I'll just leave a business card with um, Thank you. the gentleman who knows him. I appreciate it. We took a little lunch break. Um, we're still kind of working during that lunch break. I started to put my script together. I already logged all of the sound from the interview I did earlier. I was able to finish it. I sent it off to producers who are back at the station, and then they'll read through it, make tweaks if they need to. Alrighty, so our 5 p.m.'s approved, um, which is nice. It's 1.32. That gives Jesse plenty of time. He's already working on graphics. Eventually, we'll go back into the car and track my story, which is where I record my package and then he'll input it into his computer and make some magic happen. So two o'clock heading to our second story of the day. Uh, so Northeast Florida Builders Association Habitat for Humanity Jacksonville 
are partnering yeah. with uh, Four Habitats. They're going to be building a house in 24 hours over the course of two 12 hours days. They're building an affordable home for a Jacksonville family who is in need. We're the lead on the uh, fake officer impersonation at five. So in order to get this story done, we just shot a look like bridge in there, uh, which is basically just a recording of me in front of the camera that will air later. So we had to get this done so we can head over and be live for our next story. First story airs at five, second story is at 5.55. So this is the time when you start it's the crunch time, you're slammed and putting things together and you just gotta work under all the pressure. Hey guys, Jesse Pope's on the bridge. We're in the show now. 30 seconds. 30 seconds till go time. A local man facing charges tonight, accused of impersonating an officer and then trying to pull over a woman on I-10. New at 5, Action News Jax. Christy Turner is live along I-10 and Christy, the woman tells you that she never pulled over because something didn't feel she said she had a weird feeling in her gut and knew something was wrong. The victim says it happened while she was driving along I-10. And now I talked with the suspect's friend tonight who claims the allegations are all bogus. So butchered that, but that's okay. <laughs> so all that work just for those two minutes. And it's over like that. <laughs> the rush continues. <laughs> And now Jesse has to edit the 555 still, so he has yeah. it's not <laughs> done 45 yet. minutes, well actually less because you have to get that in at least 10 minutes too before. Compared to other work days, I would say today was relatively calm. Some days you're running all over town, but our stories lined up Focus. pretty well and we knew what we were doing, we knew what we wanted to get, so we worked really well together and I would say it was a pretty easy day for us. I think it went really well today.